Okay guys, hey, welcome back to Boar Oaks Crafts uh, Workshop. And today I'm gonna tell you, do a quick show and tell on cutting boards. A while back I bought these uh, cutting board kits from Woodcraft and these are make lovely cutting boards. Uh, they're, they're super easy to make and they make wonderful gifts. In this video I'm gonna do a quick overview on how I made these. And if you want a more detailed uh, tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description field and you can learn exactly step by step how I made these. Okay, let's get started. Uh, a while back, I purchased a couple of kits from uh, Woodcraft, and uh, one of these, uh, this one here, uh, and this one cost around, I think, $28. It's, uh, when I finished it, it's about seven inches wide, 15 inches uh, long, and about three fourths of an inch thick. Uh, this other one, which uh, could be a serve as a cutting board or a bread board. Uh, it's five and a quarter inches uh, wide and uh, about 15 inches long. Same dimensions as the thickness, about three quarters of an inch. Um, I'm putting up a picture so you can see how they come packaged in the store. Uh, they even uh, arrange the boards for you in a suggested pattern, but of course you can, you can rearrange that a little bit on your own. Uh, in the store, you can actually pick out uh, separate uh, boards or pieces that you uh, want to put together. And some of the woods that you see here, um, in, in like in this board for instance, we've got walnut, a strip of purple heart, a strip of yellow heart, uh, maple, and cherry. And, uh, and over here, we got a, a combination of uh, walnut, yellow heart, maple. So they, they do come with uh, a lot of choices as far as the different kind of woods that you can put in to the cutting board. Uh, these are very, very easy to make. Uh, the individual pieces are already cut and milled to the right dimensions. All you gotta do is uh, glue these pieces together and sand. Uh, I used a, uh, a disc sander for the uh, edges here and uh, an orbital sander to uh, uh, get the surface flush. But like I said, it's already cut and milled, so there wasn't a whole lot of sanding that I had to do to this. <clears throat> so this is great. Uh, these kits are great, uh, especially if you're a beginner woodworker and maybe you don't have uh, table saws or a dedicated shop space. Um, however, on the flip side of that, you do, you do pay a little bit more, as I mentioned the prices, so you pay, you're paying for the convenience of somebody already uh, cutting these boards for you. But, you know, if you're a hobbyist and if you're making these for a gift, that's not a bad deal. If you're making cutting boards to sell, uh, then it may not be that great of a way to do it. Um, if you are, uh, if you have saws and you know you're a little bit more of an advanced woodworker, um, this may not be as big of a challenge for you. Uh, however, I, they're fun to make and, and like I said, uh, cutting boards make wonderful gifts and I think you ought to check it out. I think you'll enjoy them. 